To ensure correct use, always read and understand the instructions for use of the powered air purifying system and the utilized components prior to use. In this video, we will show you how to correctly use and decontaminate the Scott Safety Loose Fitting Respiratory Protective Equipment. This set contains the following. The blower unit, battery, filter, standard belt, hose, flow tester and the hood. Perform a visual inspection of the whole unit for damage. The filter should be in date, ideally within six months of the date written on the filter. Inspect the head top to ensure that there are no rips or tears and that all seams are in good order. Connect the battery to the blower unit. Each side will have two snaps and you will hear an audible click if correctly done. The unit will immediately turn on. Press the power button for three to five seconds to turn it off. Note the tab markings on the unit and on the filter. Ensure the filter is properly connected to the blower unit. Tighten until the tab rests between the two other tab markings. Notice that the tab is bent as it passes over the knob. To ensure a good flow when connected, the TM mark should be visible above the top edge of the tester. Connect the flow tester to the blower unit. Press the power button for three to five seconds to turn the unit on. The flow is good. Turn the unit off again. Connect the hood and hose. Place one of the clear plastic washers on the end of the hose and push that end through the hold in the rear of the hood. Place the other plastic washer over the hose end before fastening the end cap on top. The hose should be free to swivel freely. Connect the hood and hose to the blower unit. To wear the device, make sure you are already wearing the proper PPE. The powered hood be worn on top of your gown. Adjust the belt according to the wearer's fitting. Put it around your waist and then connect the buckles. To switch on the unit, press the power button for three to five seconds on the control panel. After switching on, the device performs a self-test. The indicator lights will show a red light when there is a concern. For example, if the battery indicator lights red, it means that the battery is not charged. If the filter unit lights red, it means that it needs to be changed or there is a blockage. The warning lights need to be eliminated yeah. before the unit can be used. Do not put on the hood until the unit is switched on. Push the unit into your back with one hand while the other supports your hood. Wear the hood on your head, making adjustments where necessary. The system is now ready for use. After use, make sure you are out of the aerosol generating procedure zone before taking the hood off or turning the unit off. Discard your used gloves appropriately and clean your hands with alcohol hand gel. Use another set of gloves, then turn off the unit by pressing the power button and ideally you will lay the unit on a table. Disconnect the hood, hose, belt and unit for proper decontamination. Take your gloves off, sanitise your hands, then take your gown off. Sanitise your hands and remove your face mask. Sanitise your hands again then put on another set of fluid resistant surgical mask and gloves before cleaning the unit. Make sure you have ample Clonel Universal wipes within arm's reach when decontaminating. First, wipe the belt, the flexible breathing hose and the unit, then set it aside. Next, always use one fresh wipe for the inner portion of the hood. Make sure not to use the same wipe for the other part of the unit to avoid contamination. Lastly, clean the outer part of the hood, making sure all the creases are covered. Then gently put it aside to dry, ready for next use. 
Finally, take your gloves off and clean your hands. If a charger is nearby, take the battery off the unit and allow it to charge. It is important that all the parts remain together for ease of use and to avoid items being lost or damaged. Thank you for watching the instruction video for the Scott Safety Loose Fitting Respiratory Protective Equipment.